All right, welcome back YouTube to Animal Crossing New Horizons and me, cats. Um, at the end of the last episode, I changed my hairstyle and hair color. And I'm actually going to put these in storage now as well, while I'm at it. Um, I need... I think one more tree branch and then we can craft a new axe to get more wood. Oh no, I have five tree branches, okay. <clears throat> because we are also gathering resources, hang on. I haven't watered my flowers yet. Um, we need to get more resources to have the shop built. Come on, how did that not... Oh, come on! <laughs> Don't be like that. Watering can's gonna break again. I know I'm not matching the music, by the way. I don't care. I'm doing my own tune. <laughs> no, just doing another melody on on top, another voice over top, creativity and stuff. Um, right. Oh yeah, this <laughs> this is what we wanted to craft. All done for now. Let's just get some miles. Morales. Okay. Nope. Go away. Bye. Oh yeah. Guys. Stay hydrated. I could have just drank while I was uh, sitting up the uh, between the episodes, but where's the fun in that? Oop, where did that go? Is it here? I hope so. <sighs> Two! Come on! Nobody needs those. Oh, fuck you. I'm sorry. I'm just really, really miffed. <sighs> just let me have my wood. How much do we have? Um, hang on. All right. So we've still got a ways to go, but that's okay. We have time. Oh, I forgot a digging spot. Well, I didn't forget it. I just didn't see it before. No problemo. Oh, a fossil. Nice. Neaty, neaty, nice. You know what? We haven't had the time to spend a lot of time <laughs> over here yet. So, just going to get some more wood from here. fish. Well, I guess I deserve that. Oh, 
<sighs> you know, I really love Bunny Day. I've been complaining about it a lot, but in reality, that's all just me joking, you know. I really, really enjoy it. It's my favorite holiday in the entire year. Oh my god, how are you... Ah, there's nowhere for me to hide. Maybe they'll just give up? <laughs> this wasn't possible in, in, in New Leaf. You couldn't outrun them. Ah, Apparently you can't hear either. What? Come on. I've been stung twice before. <sighs> Darn. Well, teary eyed cry baby. Okay. Uh, well, at least I got those smiles now. Um, might as well actually craft some medicine while I'm down here again. Look at them all smiling at me and I'm like, oh my god, what happened to your face? <laughs> yes. Woo! Oh, let's just craft another. Because it's bound to happen again. I'm just chopping at trees. <laughs> Playing with fire, essentially. Or wasps, in that case. Let's take one. Ta-da! All better. If only it worked like that in real life. No, we'd probably destroy our bodies even more. It's, it's best if it doesn't work like that. I was over here. Uh, there. Just get you two. And then you two. Oh, too many miles. Oh, I've chopped over 100 times now. Curious. And yes, I'm avoiding cutting into the apple trees because I don't want to have any more stuff in my pockets, basically. No. Oh, come on. <sighs> How many sticks do I have? Two. Can I shake trees while I have this pole in my hand? Yes, I can. Give me branches. Thank you. And I should have five, right? Yes. Wee. <sighs> oh, stretch my leg. Stretch my back. Ooh. Oh, it's not easy having a body. Oh, no. Not easy at all. <laughs> no. Just speeding it up a little bit there. <laughs> um, okay, I have two open spit. Hang on, how much? Okay, so I'm actually on a good way here. I don't think that was proper English, but whatever. Who cares? Everyone knows what I'm talking about. A boot. <laughs> I was actually... Uh, something really funny that happened at university. Um, 
so last semester I had um, a Scottish professor um, with obviously a very thick Scottish accent and I don't have an issue with that I, I don't mind accents I can understand most of what I've heard so far um, but some uh, some some classmates essentially of, of mine um, their English is um, let's say mediocre and uh, we were talking about um, uh, the topic was like um, online shopping versus uh, local stores and we were just gathering arguments because it, this class was about um, writing essays which um, really unnecessary in, in, in my opinion for, for some of us for some of us um, and so someone said like oh yeah with clothing for instance it's always better to be able to try it on before you buy it and um, then uh, Bob our professor he um, said like um, how do you stand on books but with his um, accent, it sounded um, very similar to boots. So because he said like books, uh, books, uh, and then <laughs> I think I was about the only one who understood him correctly. And someone actually said like, "Well, it's the same as with other clothing, isn't it? You you need to try it on before you buy it." And he was so confused. He was like, "You try on books, like." What, what's your oh come on what's your issue in life <laughs> and I was just sitting in my chair trying not to laugh <laughs> oh that was a glorious moment and a wonderful show of how different uh, levels uh, are that <laughs> was not a good example of my being an advanced level speaker. None of this is, actually. Um, but I'm just not good at talking. That's my issue. I'm not good at talking in any language. I'm just not good at talking. Um, that's sad. Um, it's got to do a lot with, like, um, social anxiety, but also... Um, uh, having been bullied and therefore always uh, quiet at school and stuff and I'm just uh, not used either to social interaction a lot which is why I often have very um, uh, not embarrassing but like awkward conversations um, because I just don't know how to properly um, communicate um, and just talking in general because I'm not used to being able to, to speak a lot. So I've taken, I've made a habit out of um, overthinking before I open my mouth. Um, and so whenever I'm not in a position to really think about what I'm going to say, like right now um, with these let's plays, which is part of why I'm doing them, um, I I don't really know how to handle the situation because I need to talk without really thinking much about it, without thinking a lot about uh, sentence structure and um, logic and appropriateness and everything. Um, it's it's really difficult for me. Um, I know that other people just do it like just like that, and it's amazing to me. Because I cannot, as, as you can all hear, I just can't really um, talk very fluently um, without stuttering a lot, without messing up a lot. Um, so this is uh, also meant to be um, kind of like a speech therapy, <laughs> only without um, any speech impediments on my behalf. Because... If you really listen to the 
not the content, but the quality of what I say, if that makes any sense. Um, you'll notice that I don't really have that that much um, trouble with like formulating sentences or um, wait, what? Do I already have? Oh, I don't already have. Uh, so I only need software now. Um, what the heck? My controllers just vibrated really heavily. That was scary. It wasn't like your typical vd. It was like vd. I was like, am I getting a call? On my switch um where was I again <laughs> right um so yeah I'm, it's not that I'm uh, incapable of um, forming sentences not that I'm incapable of being um, like uh, see <laughs> not a good example um, but it's, I I don't like the skills of uh, using language. It's more that I like the skills of um, vocalizing it, voicing it. Um, I'm I'm very good at writing when I have like a lot of time to think about. Um, the structure of my sentence, the content of my sentence, um, the uh, register that I want to employ, um, and I can wait. No, this is not what I want to do. Um, I can really focus on it, you know. Whereas this is both um, unnatural territory for me, with speaking out loud in general and reading out loud especially but also um having another task to do like playing a game so it's it's really a challenge for me and um a task that hopefully will make me grow a little <laughs> right so about the shop Right now we are asking residents for their help in donating the materials we need to build our shop. I'd like to donate. Oh, you'll make a donation? Thank you so much for helping us. Right now you have some softwood, wood and hardwood. Do you want to donate 30 of each? These are for you. Thank you so much. We only need one last bid to reach our donation goals for building the shop. To thank you, let me offer you a chic wall, a menu board, chalkboard, and an oil lamp. Thank you. Three very random items. Though the menu chalkboard I've definitely gotten before. We'd love our... Our. We'd love our cooperation. In donating the last... Yeah. We'd love your cooperation in donating the last type of material we need. I should have it with me. Right now we're asking residents for their help. Oh, you'll make a donation? Thank you so much for helping us. We already received some of the necessary donations, so we only need three... Three. Three iron nuggets? I have those. Thirty iron nuggets now. We'd like to receive donations in the exact amount needed just to help keep things organized. So when you've gathered up enough of something we need, please stop by to donate to our wonderful cause. I used one, didn't I? For the mirror? Probably. Well, guess I'll eat an apple and destroy some rocks. <laughs> oh... Apples, apples, apples. Huh? Didn't I just... Oh, yeah, I got some items in return, didn't I? Well, I'll just drop you for now. Uh, 
and then E to one. And now, Cat's Smash. That is not what I needed. Please, one of you hold an iron nugget. Come on. Ugh. Oh, come on. Do I just have the worst RNG right now? <sighs> well, I wanted to go to another island anyway, didn't I? <sighs> alright, I feel like I've excused myself before. I, I wasn't making excuses for myself, alright? Just, just so that's out in the clear. Um, I don't make mean to make excuses for um, not being um, terribly good at talking out loud and stuff like that because y'all are not interested in that oh, I'll just put all of this in storage right now as well um, and <sighs> saying it's none of your business really is like really rude but it kind of isn't <laughs> um, and I don't need to make excuses for myself. I'm not the only one with issues like these. And, uh, I'm doing something about them. And I'm, I don't need or want your pity or uh, forgiveness, if you will. That's not, that's not how life works. That's not how I want to work. I don't want to be dependent on, on that sort of thing. Alright, let's just make the trip then. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only getaway to the skies, the Altamira Airport. Nice to meet ya. I'm Olvo, ground crew for Dodo Airlines. Dodo Airlines, the crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. If you want to visit another island, invite friends to this one or go on a mystery tour, this is the place to be. Oh, and we've got we've also got a mail service at this airport. Sometimes a letters just better, you know. If you want to send someone a note, take a gander to your right. We got all kinds of cards at the card stand. By the way, you're cats, right? It's a small island. Word gets around. I just got a Nook Miles ticket from Tom Nook with, to, with, with cats written on it, which makes it yours. So, if you want to use this ticket, you just gotta say the magic words, I wanna fly. Got it? I got it. So, cats, you got anything to tell me? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, I got a N Niles Mook ticket with your name on it behind the desk here. So use that whenever. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where did you want to go? I want to use the ticket. So you want to use your Niles Mook ticket? Roger. In that case, I'll just take this ticket I got from Tom Nook. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute. But let's just check. You all packed? Tools all ready? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's get you airborne. Saving. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower Wilbur. Do you copy? Got a walker who needs wings, over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to, uh, and when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? Oh, 
I think dodos would stretch their backs. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I always make noises when I stretch. Alright. We are two down and docked at the uh, target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. First time getting your p pontoons wet on tour. Let me brief you on Mystery Island procedure. First, we run the finders keepers proto protocol here. Lumber, fruit, fish, whatever. Yours if you can carry it. Next up, break a tool, forget one. I can requisition you a, a replacement. Gotta charge your miles though. Also, there's one red line item you need to memorize. Like your favorite latte order. Anything oh, anything you leave behind stays behind. We don't co come back to these places. Ever. Actually, I burn the flight pants afterwards. Security reasons. Can't explain more on that. Think that's everything. Go explore. If you get into trouble, ask yourself, what would dodos do? Meanwhile, I'll be holding, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Thank you. Oh, look at them tulips. They're pretty. I just discovered, uh, like right outside um, the house I live in, there are some tulips growing and it's fucking marvelous. <laughs> I do like tulips. Yes. I've already got my iron nugget. I've already got a neighbor who just really aggressively stomped on the ground. Okay. Let me vault. Because you look adorable. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Bo. I'm visiting this island today. Your cats? From Altamira? That's real cool. This island's real neat, right? Let's have some fun together while we're both here. Saltic. That sounds a bit dirty. Um, I'm not into that, but I am into you coming to my island. You're cute. This island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I could stay here forever, pointing at stuff, saying, that's nature. Man, <laughs> it'd be real neat to live on an island like this. Full time, I mean. Just living life, pointing at nature. Want to come to my place? Huh? You live on Altamira, right? Is it like this there too? Wow. Then I want to go. If your island's as cool as you, then I want to go, cats. That feels a bit like a proposal. I'm really not in for that. But I will be waiting for you. By the way, what should I do to move to Altamira? So, if I call your Mr. Tom Nook, he'll tell me everything. Thanks. I'll call him and say hi. Today's the best day since I found out what Peschetti was. What is Peschetti? Is that spaghetti? Are you trying to say spaghetti? You are adorable. What? Wh what? Excuse me? <laughs> That's a thing? Holy shit, I didn't know. I am shook. <laughs> I am real and proper shook. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna get some uh, coconuts here. Um, to plant on my island. And I'm going to catch you little stink bug. Yes, I caught a stink bug. It lives up to its name. Phew. 
Um, we are gonna get stink bugs on on our island as well, but um, right now, um, that's not. <laughs> Um, because our flowers haven't grown in yet. <sighs> I hate eggs, you know. I don't think I'm ever going to look at mayonnaise the same way again. Ever. And I'm saying that after I've already eaten mayonnaise that was beyond ex its expiry date. No, 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 no. Um, so, yeah, it's saying a lot when I say that, which is double funny. <laughs> it's saying a lot because my pronouns are it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, stop now. <laughs> um, ooh, I got what I wanted, so... That's just... Oh, it was so cute, though. <laughs> oh, actually, we're almost out of time. Um, so I'm just gonna say... Uh, 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 hang on. Hang on, never mind. I need to... I need to look at the camera. Hello. <laughs> I do hope you have a lovely day. Have had a lovely day so far, and um, I hope to see you again tomorrow for the next two, final two parts of today's recording, and maybe even beyond that. Bye bye!